Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining. If you're new here, my name is Jenny, and thank you for joining. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. So for today's video, we have a special guest. This is Evie, the girl who you constantly hear yapping in the background. And she's so cute, look how small she is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And very, very stinky. So she wanted to be in the video so badly, so here she is. Say hi, Evie. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, come here. There's another one too. He wants to be in the video also. Y'all wanna see him? This is Fenway. Mmm, mmm, my big Fanny Benny Boo. So these are my babies that are always barking and yapping and wanna be right by me at all times in the room. Thanks for joining, guys. Now go play. Mama's gonna work. <laughs> so for today's video, we're going. Shh. <laughs> we're gonna. Oh, I got them all riled up. Sorry, guys. So for today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Play by Sephora. So if you want to see what this is all about, then you know the drill. Keep on watching. I wanted to do a quick recap of last month's Play by Sephora box so I could kind of tell you guys what I liked, um, you know, because first impressions are one thing, but actually trying the products out and things like that is another. Um, I only have three of the products in front of me because I didn't get to use all six all the way. So the first product was the Wander Beauty. It's the lip treatment. There we go. And it was the tinted lip treatment that I thought was really nice. It had a pretty color to it and it felt really great on the lips. So I did love this. I thought that was a great product and enjoyed it. Next we have the Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I had never heard of this brand, but I did also like this. This one was still good. It has a nice wand. It's very interesting. And this is another product I suggest. And then last but not least, this was in our box and it is the Away body cream and it was very creamy and I am super dry as y'all know. So I really enjoyed this. I haven't used it all, but I plan on it. I did use some, so I enjoyed it a lot. And then I did not have a chance to try the eye cream, I believe. Yeah, the no baggage eye cream. I used, I did actually use this Rose Hip uh, Deep Hydration Face Cream, and I do think I liked it. It had a rosy smell. I'm pretty sure I liked it a lot, actually, so I would suggest it too, but I didn't get to use my Amika, um, the bonus product that we received, the Amika 3D Volume and Thickening Shampoo. I did not get to use it. Now, I always wonder, I mean, am I going to really know if it's volumizing and thickening in just one to two washes, probably not. But you know, you can kind of tell pretty quickly if you like something or not, just not necessarily if it works. So that was my take on those. And I just wanted to give you a recap, like I said, so that you can kind of like, you know, not just hear first impressions from me and we can have some updated information. But next we are going to open Play by Sora. Play by Sephora. So let's go. Okay. I have my nifty letter opener from my mom. So pretty and is coming in handy so much. Okay. Super excited to see what's in here. Play by Sephora is $10 a month and it is Sephora's beauty box, which is five deluxe samples and Sometimes you get a bonus sample and it comes in a super pretty box. I love their coloring from that store. Show off and share by using Sephora Play or hashtag Sephora Play. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying Sephora. Maybe because it's been up because, ugh. maybe it's because I've been awake since 2.30 in the morning and it is now 2.30. So I've been awake and going. I was at work today for 12 hours. <laughs> so maybe that's why, but... Maybe not. It could just totally be me because that's me. So we have always this really cool 
um, paper that they send. It looks like they have like games on this maybe. The Anatomy of a Beauty Lover's Heart. Okay, the theme of course is for Valentine's Day with love, with love Sephora. They didn't say that, but they should have. Okay, and Beauty Soulmates. Get ready to fall hard for these makeup, skincare, and hair care essentials. See how we like it. And it has this little re reusable bag. Again, these remind me of the bags that Casey Holmes came up with, with Ziploc. Um, I think they are pretty cool, but I don't know. I have plenty of bags now, so I can't say that I need any more, but it's okay. I like it. We can find these and reasons to use it, and it'll be totally fine. I First, I grabbed the bonus product, which is by Christopher Robin. It's a mask fondant hydrant. Hydrant. Yeah, hydrate, yeah. Um, hydrating melting mask with aloe vera. So that is awesome, I'm excited to try that. It's an ultra moisturizing hair mask that will deliver the love and hydration your strands have been longing for. And it doesn't say how much it costs. That's one of the things that Sephora is like. Okay, so next I see Clinique. It is black high impact mascara, mascara is a coal black volumizing mascara. Oh, a decent wand. A coal black volumizing mascara that'll define and lengthen to make your heart and lashes sore. Really? Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> so next I see the Kat Von D Beauty setting powder. There's been a lot of tea with Kat Von D. Can I do that? Um, just saying, but it's okay. I still want to try her products. <laughs> this setting powder has a weightless formula that'll leave your complexion shine free. So it's safe to say it's a keeper. Okay, awesome. I'm going to try it out. I've been using my Ciate London one that I got from my BoxyCharm. And let me just tell you, I am in love. Like, I feel like it just creates such a flawless look. I've also been using it with a um, Real Techniques sponge and not a brush. And so maybe it's the technique that I'm using. Maybe it's the powder. But all I know is I don't feel cakey at all. And even my under eye area looks better than it has looked prior to this product. So I really like that. Um, I'm going to keep trying it. But anyways, just thought I'd tell you that. So we're going to definitely be trying out that Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. And next I see Lancome Rose Sorbet. Rose is so, like, popular. Y'all notice that? see it is a mask and it is infused with cooling rose water this soothing mask moisturizes skin while improving tone and texture you just rub it in gently pat layers and leave on for five minutes before rinsing so masks always a good thing to me especially hair masks i could definitely use a hair mask right now so i will be ready to try this one and let's see, we have two more products. Next, we have the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. Hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types. Um, I really like this box. Like This has some good stuff in it. It says an innovative ultra moisturizing cream that'll leave your skin feeling like it's on cloud nine for 72 hours. Need to know brand. The founder was inspired by his family's 19th century Hungarian spa heritage. Peter Thomas Roth has established a skincare line that provides selfie worthy results. Thank you, Peter Thomas Roth. We appreciate you very much. Okay, and last but not least, I love getting these little boxes. How about y'all? Does anybody get this box? If you do, comment below and let me know. Do you get it and do you like it? And has it always been good or has it gotten better because it's new to me? Next we have Josie Marin. It is 100% pure argan oil. That is exciting. And it says a certified organic multi-use oil that will moisturize your face, under eye area, and hair, nails, and body. And essential in every beauty lover's collection. Need to know about this brand is natural beauty brand Jose, Josie. I'm going to say Jose. <laughs> Josie Marin. Let's it, it organic botanical ingredients speak for themselves. Oh, this is an exclusive item to the Sephora box. So, or yeah, Playboy Sephora box. 
So that is really great. I really like it. Here's our little card of all of our goodies. So yeah, there's our box. Um, what did you guys think? I really liked it. I'd say that Sephora did a great job. It's another amazing box with lots of little tiny samples. <laughs> we have little tiny samples everywhere. How about y'all? I'm working on using them, but I really enjoy having these little mascaras because I can put them in my purse. And like I said, I do touch up my mascara a lot because I like to have a really black mascara. So I like the little mascaras for that. I love the little creams for that reason. I'm not sure how I feel about stuff like this because it's so small, but it's a great way to try products again so that you can see if it's something you wanna purchase in the future. And even though you can buy things and if you don't like it, just so you know, because I didn't know this all, um, like a long time ago, I had no idea, that you can buy things at Sephora and Ulta and if you don't like it or if it's not the right shade or anything like that, you can return it. So that is really amazing. You get your money back, I think, if it's within 30 days. And then if it's after that, you get a gift card, which I'm sure you can find something else to buy. So I love this box, and I'm going to keep getting it. And let me know what you thought, too. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. If you would consider subscribing wherever the little boxes or whatever this is subscribe i would be so grateful for you to join me on all my adventures and i if you could hit the notification bell it's a little bell if you click on the bell and then hit personalized all that way you can get every notification for when i have any future uploads so you don't miss any video of me and my unboxing or whatever it is i'm doing so again thank you again if you did enjoy this video at any time, if you could give it a thumbs up, that helps me too. So thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.